Hi guys, it's Lauren. Today we are going to real quickly go over my TBR for Read Around Marina Thon round 7. Okay, so this is a readathon that is hosted by four lovely ladies. I'll link all of their pages down below. Um, this go round read around readathon is taking place from June 11 to June 17th. Um, if you saw my video from before, I participated in round six. It was my first readathon and it was an epic fail, but <laughs> we're gonna try it again. In the announcement videos down below, the ladies will go over with you the rules. There are eight goals for this readathon and it's over the course of seven day, June 11th to June 17th from midnight to midnight. And then there's also a giveaway, I think, but you'll have to go watch the announcement videos to see the rules and regs for the giveaways. Okay, so the challenges are as follows. Challenge number one is to read a book with Rama in the title and or author's name. For this, I picked Storm Dancer by J. Kristoff. There is R-A-M-A. -A. Rama. This is a Japanese steampunk book. Um, supposed to have a pretty kick-ass female protagonist. I am really excited to read it and look how awesome that cover is. Challenge number two is to read a book with water on the cover. For this I picked Given to the Sea by Mindy McGinnis. So this book is about a female who is basically raised to sacrifice herself to the sea to keep the sea from overcoming their town or island or not quite sure and but before she can be given as a sacrifice, the rules are that she has to produce an heir, but she doesn't like anybody's touch. Challenge number three is to read a short book. Short meaning 150 pages or less. And for this, I picked Tree Girl by T.A. Barron. So yeah, so no idea what this one is about. I didn't look. I just like T.A. Barron, so I've had the book when I found it in Goodwill. And it uh, has something to do, I think, with tree spirits, tree sprites, tree fae. We'll find out. Challenge number four is to read a graphic novel. And for this, I picked Saga Volume 2. I have already read Volume 1. I just have to get Volume 2 from the library, and that will be the graphic novel that I choose for this. Goal number five is to read a book that you've been anticipating. For this, I picked Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. You do not know how excited I was to get my hands on this book. I love her writing. It's awesome, and it's amazing. It's supposed to be like a 47 Ronin slash Mulan kind of a kind of thing and just look at that cover. Challenge number six is to read an own voice book. For this I picked When Dimple Met Rishi by it. I'm gonna butcher this, I'm sorry, Sandia Menon. Sorry. But it's supposed to be this really cute YA contemporary book about these two teenagers, these Indian teenagers that are um, kind of pushed into this arranged marriage and the boy is a romantic at heart and he is all for it. He's He's just wanting that kind of a fairy tale thing. And Dimple is, she's got goals, you know, she's putting her education first. She's got this tech stuff she wants to do. She's not trying to fill this arranged marriage thing right now. Challenge number seven is to read a book that was released in the summer. And from what I understand, it doesn't have to be this summer, it just has to be a summer. So for this, even though technically the release date is May 30th, which is today, yesterday, um, I'm from Texas, and Texas is already in the hundreds. That's summer to me, so regardless of what you all feel about it, but for that book, at any rate, I picked Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zapia. This is supposed to be a really, really cute book about a girl who has, like, social anxiety, I believe. She's the author of these really popular web comics, and she meets this boy at school, and then she ends up kind of trying to figure out that balance because she's really good with her web comics, but she's like shy and odd in person and stuff. And look at that cover. And then challenge number eight is to read seven books, and if you have picked one book for each of these challenges, then that will meet challenge number eight. But if you used one book for more than one challenge, for instance, using Flame in the Mist for most anticipated book as well as the book that fill, uh, has Rama on the cover. So this one could count for Rama as well. So you can kind of mix and match per se and then if you do have like three or four books that fill all of the requirements then um, you can just pick other books to have read seven books for that. And then I have a one book for backup in case I do change my mind 
and that is Bitten by Kelly Armstrong. This is book one in the Women of the Underworld series. Um, I haven't read the books yet, I've only seen the TV show, so I got that as backup in case I change your mind. And don't be surprised when I do the wrap up video at the end of this if I've got totally different books for half of these because I'm shit about sticking to TBRs. So, meh. We'll see how that goes. So that is it for this video guys. Comment down below if you are participating in the readathon and what books are you reading and do you have any, are you reading any of these? So uh, is that it? That's all I got? I think that's all I got. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you later. Bye.